In response to your request, I am going to solve additional problems for the topic derivatives in implicit form. Number one problem. Find the derivative of y with respect to x of the equation x squared plus 4xy plus y squared equal to 1. Please take note that we are differentiating with respect to x. Now, differentiating, we have 2x plus 4 times the quantity xy prime plus y plus 2yy prime equal to 0. So, on the first and third term, we utilize the power rule. And on the middle term of the left side of the equation, we use the product rule. Now, we multiply both sides by 1 half. So we have x plus 2, so we distribute 2, 2xy prime plus 2 times y, we have 2y plus y, y prime equal to 0. And then we will retain those terms with y prime at the left side of the equation and transpose the other two at the right side. So we now have 2xy prime plus yy prime at the left side equal to negative x minus 2y since we transpose those two. Now factoring out y prime at the left side of the equation we have y prime times 2x plus y equal to factoring out the negative sign and finally dividing both sides by 2x plus y we now have the final answer y prime is equal to negative x plus 2y over 2x plus y. Or we can rewrite to this final answer. That's problem number one. Any question? Next problem, problem number two. Are you ready? Here it is. x squared minus 2xy plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y equal to zero. Now we differentiate. 2x minus, using product rule, 2 times x y prime plus y. Okay, plus 2y y prime minus 6 times 1 or 6 plus 2y prime equal to 0. Now we simplify multiplying both sides by 1 half will give us x minus xy prime and distribute the negative sign minus y plus y y prime negative 6 divided by 2 negative 3 plus y prime equal to 0 now the same process we retain those terms with y prime at the left side and transpose the remaining terms at the right side of the equation. Now we have, so we arrange them, yy prime, 
minus x y prime plus y prime so these are the terms with y prime now equal to we have negative y will become positive y at the right side x will be negative x at the right side and the negative 3 will be positive 3 at the right side so it's complete now we factor out y prime at the left side of the equation we have y prime times the quantity y minus x plus 1 equal to we just copy now dividing both sides by y minus x plus 1 we now have y prime equal to so we cancel y minus x plus 3 over y minus x plus 1 this is our final answer or we can rewrite the final answer by putting x at the first term that will be y prime equal to so what we will do we will factor out the negative sign next problem find y prime for the equation x squared plus y squared raised to the quantity raised to the power 2 equal to a y cubed so differentiating Using power rule, we have 2 times x squared plus y squared times the derivative of the function inside the parentheses, which is 2x plus 2yy prime equal to, we copy a and differentiate y cubed, we have 3y squared times y prime. So this is power rule. Now we simplify, we do FOIL method, we transpose the terms with y prime at the left side of the equation and transpose the other terms at the right side. Then we factor out y prime at the left side of the equation. Factor out negative 4x at the right side of the equation. To solve for y prime, multiply both sides by 1 over 4x squared y plus 4y cubed minus 3ay squared. And here's the final answer. Next problem, if x is equal to t cubed minus 3t squared, find dt over dx. So in this example, t is the unknown function or the, de the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. Now we differentiate. Then we factor out dt over dx at the right side of the equation. Now we divide both sides by 3t squared minus 6t to solve for dt over dx. Problem number 5. If y squared is equal to 4ax, find y double prime or the second derivative of y with respect to x. Now we do first differentiation. Then we simplify by dividing both sides by 2. By dividing both sides by y, we get y prime equal to 2a over y. Since we are asked to solve for y double prime, we now differentiate the resulting equation. Using 
using product rule, the derivative of y y prime is equal to y y double prime plus y prime squared. To solve for y double prime, we transpose y prime squared to the right side of the equation. From the previous equation, we know that y prime is equal to 2a over y. We then substitute to the resulting derivative. Then we simplify and solve for y double prime by dividing both sides by y. Next problem, problem number 6. Find the slope of the curve at the given point. To obtain the slope of the curve, we will differentiate the given equation and then substitute later the value of x equal to 1 and y equal to 2. It should be noted that y prime is equal to the slope of the curve. And the slope of the curve is 1 fourth. Problem number 7, find the slope of the curve at the given point. So we will differentiate first y squared equal to b cubed over 2x plus b at the point 0, b. Please take note that b is a constant. So we should recall the formula for finding the derivative of a quotient, but in this case, the numerator is a constant. So the derivative will be negative c, derivative of the den denominator with respect to x over the square of the denominator. After differentiating the given equation, we now substitute the value of x, which is 0, and y equal to b to solve for the slope of the curve. And the slope is negative 1. 